Welcome to our Google Plus Hangout. Hi everyone. Uh, well, we're working out here on the Okavango Wilderness Project. This is our fifth year. We've got these explorers with us. And uh, we're troubleshooting for the big expedition next year when we go down the length of the Okavango River. We've been doing a bunch of water testing. We set up some sensors. Um, it's, it's, uh, and this trip has just been incredible. It's phenomenal. It's been a long slog to get here through mud with uh, Chow had nine leeches on his leg earlier today. We want to uh, put all the research that we're doing, species sightings, water samples, et cetera, et cetera, up for immediately so that everybody else can have access to them. It's been fun sharing uh, the experience with everybody uh, who is not covered in leeches. <laughs> I don't see any risk in doing this. Uh, it, there's a risk in not sharing experiences like this, not inspiring the world to, to care about these places. Um, guys, Tina Crofts on Google Plus has a question from her classroom. She's watching. How do people interact with elephants? I had an elephant outside of my tent last night, so close that it was literally <laughs> I could hear it. it had. Every single campsite we've been to has been crisscrossed with these huge elephant dungs. I mean, I bet we can just look around and find one it. somewhere. Yeah, there's one literally six feet away from us over here. Jared's going to run and pick one up for us here. We've literally had elephants at every one of our last four sites. And it's amazing. So, yeah, here's our elephant dung that we're just <laughs> picking up off of nowhere. Just everywhere. And so, you know, I think one of the important things is you remain calm and, and interacting with any wildlife species can be dangerous. Um, but at the same time, if you remain calm, the animals can sense that. What was your most dangerous encounter with a wild animal, and uh, what happened? I'd say it was two years ago. We were coming into an area called Kijira and took a wrong turn, and this massive five, six-meter crocodile came under the boat, but in very, very shallow water. Uh, I looked down. Um, first, just amazed at the beauty of this animal, but also the danger it represents uh, in its nest site. And pulled twice forwards, we were in reverse, looked up and there was an elephant. The elephant got a fright because it wasn't expected to see someone there in this little dark corner. Elephant starts falling into the water, we start pulling back. Now the polar behind me, Tom, who's over there, um, falls onto where the crocodile's gone. Um, uh, brief moments of chaos, but yes, we did endanger ourselves there by not really thinking about it going in there that carefully, not looking up to see there's a giant elephant right in front of us. Uh, we were looking down at the crocodile. Jer and Shaw, I would imagine a lot of what you guys normally do requires things like electricity. Can you tell us a little bit about how you're making this happen? We don't have a generator. We have one as backup, but we don't use it. Our expedition, this conversation, all of our recording is all solar powered. One of our Makoros is almost entirely the surface area is a solar panel. And so as we're out there um, covered in leeches and, and pulling through the mud, this thing is, um, is soaking up power. Nobody wants to have a diesel generator running in the evening when you have, when you have this. Um, Alex Pollan on Google Plus says, congratulations on the leaps and bounds you've made for the Okavango. What can we do to help protect this incredible place? You can be part of this for the remaining 10 days that we have on this expedition and you know, share, share this with your friends and, and, and follow us on at, at the Okavango and let's get this conversation started so that the Okavango becomes you know, parallel with something like the Great Barrier Reef when we think about uh, the real gems of the world and, and, the, and the wildlife areas that can be preserved. Look at him. Oh my god, we have a huge uh, elephant right over here. here. Trying to get it on. Oh my god. <laughs> you reckon you can do that? This is a bull elephant. Well, as we put the bull elephant on the screen there, come back to uh, the right just a little bit. All right, guys. Well, yeah. everyone, who's, everyone who's watching online, thanks for joining us. It, you can follow the team at intotheokavango.org. Also, they're tweeting using hashtag Okavango14. That's Okavango14. Follow them there. Steve, Greg, Shah, Jer, thanks, guys, so much for making this happen and all the work you're doing. Everyone that's watching at home and in classrooms, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.